Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between conventional machining and non traditional machining. Conventional machining uses tools, such as lathes, milling machines, boring machines, drill presses, or others, with a sharp cutting tool to remove material to achieve the desired geometry. Usually, there is a direct contact between the tool and raw material. An unconventional machining process, or non traditional machining process, is a special type of machining process in which there is no direct contact between the tool and the workpiece. In unconventional machining, a form of energy is used to remove unwanted material from a given workpiece. So, let's look into the basic differences between conventional machining and non traditional machining in a tabular form. Difference number one in conventional machining, only mechanical energy, or power, is utilized to gradually remove excess material from workpiece, whereas, in non traditional machining, various forms of energy, like electrical, mechanical, thermal, chemical, light, etc. or a combination of two or more such forms, are directly utilized to remove excess material. Number 2. In conventional machining, materials are removed in the form of tiny sharp chips, whereas, in non-traditional machining, so-called chip is not produced here. Material is removed in various forms, such as tiny metal particles, ions, molten or vapor, etc. Number 3. Shear deformation is the only phenomenon that causes removal of material in conventional machining, whereas, shear deformation plays an insignificant role in material removing in most of the non-traditional machining processes. Instead, erosion, dissolution, evaporation, sputtering, etc. occur here. Number 4. In conventional machining, a sharp wedge-shaped cutting tool having specific geometry, material and properties is required for cutting action. Whereas, in non-traditional machining, so-called cutting tool does not exist here. However, in few cases, for example electrochemical machining, electrical discharge machining, tool is required and its profile and property must match with the requirement. Number 5. In conventional machining, physical contact between cutting tool and workpiece and also relative velocity in between them are indispensably necessary in order to remove materials. Whereas, in non-traditional machining, although no physical contact occurs between cutting tool and workpiece, in few processes such as abrasive jet machining, abrasive water jet machining, and ultrasonic machining solid abrasive grits strike the work surface to erode material. Number 6. Conventional machining processes are age-old and thus physics of the processes are well understood. Skilled labors are also readily available at comparatively cheaper cost. Whereas, most of non-traditional machining processes are developing. Labor cost is also high due to less number of skilled labors available in this field. Number 7. Conventional machining can provide a wide range of surface finish depending on the process that is employed and also the process parameters. However, getting surface finish below 10 micrometers is quite difficult and that requires costly CNC system. Whereas, in non-traditional machining, achievable surface finish is much better than that for conventional processes. It can easily provide a surface finish in nanometer range. Number 8. Conventional machining processes are suitable for bulk removal of material. In this sense, these are fast, reliable, and economic, higher material removal rate, whereas, non-traditional machining are suitable for highly accurate and precise requirements. For bulk removal of materials, these processes are time-consuming, less reliable, and uneconomic. Number 9. There are certain shapes that cannot be produced by conventional machining, whereas, non-traditional machining processes sometimes become a reliable option for producing such critical shapes. And, difference number 10. Examples of conventional machining processes include turning, facing, grooving, drilling, boring, remming, shaping, planing, milling, grinding, lapping, honing etc., whereas, examples of non-traditional machining processes include abrasive jet machining, abrasive water jet machining, ultrasonic machining, electrical discharge machining, electrochemical machining, chemical machining, laser beam machining, plasma arc machining, electron beam machining etc. and hybridization of all these processes.